Irvine, California, famous around the globe as one of the nicest places to live in the United States. It's glistening suburbia, after all, as well as one of the world's first cities to truly embrace the concept of master plan communities. With all their endless pools and tennis courts, perfectly manicured green spaces, and multifarious parks and entertainment venues. And let's not forget Irvine, California's status as the safest city in America, 17 years and counting, according to FBI data for cities with populations of over 250,000 as well as its status as one of the top cities in America for public schools, according to Niche.com. If you've never visited Irvine, you may judge it by its reputation alone and think that everywhere in Irvine looks exactly the same. But this isn't true at all. Irvine is a big city and it has lots of different flavors, and there is even a spot within it that doesn't include, dare we say it, a homeowners association. So what we're going to do in this video is show you all of Irvine's different flavors. And remember, there are going to be flavors you love, but perhaps most important, there are going to be flavors you're going to hate. So make sure you watch this whole video so you can avoid the pain and discomfort of moving to the wrong spot. So let's get started with this tour. So Sean and I were kind of arguing last night when we were deciding how to start this Irvine video and I just had to insist that we started in the OG of master plan communities, Woodbridge in Irvine, California. So this is pretty much just the center of Irvine and in this video we wanted to show you, you know, different flavors of Irvine. How does each area of Irvine sort of differentiate itself? And Woodbridge, it kind of just exemplifies Irvine in itself. Do you want yeah. to talk about talk about Woodbridge? I mean, it always has a warm <laughs> place in my heart because, I mean, a, a lot of my childhood was spent growing up here, so I love Woodbridge. I just love all the amenities here. This was like very kind of groundbreaking when it was yeah. built, so for all the residents and their guests, that you just have so many like just so many amenities. I mean, you yeah. have like the lagoon here, which is amazing. You have the lakes, you have tons of tennis courts, tons of pools, like, you know, the, like tons of parks. There's just so much to offer, yeah. like the residents here that it's kind of incredible. And it was really like, again, groundbreaking, I think for the time, yeah. because again, you have to understand Woodbridge is mostly 1970s, 1980s built. So yeah. this was just very different. Now it's very common that you see yeah. these kind of mega developments, but this was very unusual for back in the day. So again, I just love it. It was like, I just had a lot of fun here. And again, the homes here just, again, just it reminds me of my childhood. Yeah, so because the homes are older here, in some ways I feel like Woodbridge almost gets forgotten. Like mm -hmm. I feel that Woodbridge, me personally, it has a lot of great value because it's so centrally located. That's what I love about Woodbridge. Yeah. And then because it is on the older side, the pricing here tends to be more like the median price for Irvine, right? Yeah, so it's not super, super pricey because you will find that it get it can get very pricey in Irvine very, very quickly. And Woodbridge is relatively, again, affordable for by Irvine standards. And again, like what you're mentioning about the centrally located aspect of it, you're right off the 405 freeway and you're pretty, you're relatively north as far as Irvine is concerned. So you're kind of closer to where a lot of the action is happening in Orange County. So I just like it, like again, you're kind of straddling what's happening in Northern Orange County. And then of course, if you want to go to the Irvine spectrum and then what's happening there, the more, more newer developments, yeah. you're not that far away from there either. Yeah, and you're really close to UC Irvine, yes. uh, pretty close to Newport Beach. I mean, you're just right in the center of everything. I just really really love Woodbridge and there are some gated communities here not too many but I mean in general like I know people kind of reach out kind of go and they want gated you won't find a ton of that in Woodbridge to be honest like so if you're looking for gated obviously reach out to us we can kind of point you in the right direction so before we continue I'm Sean Dazad and I'm Courtney Dazad and we are licensed real estate agents here in the state of California yeah and if you're watching this channel you might be thinking wow Sean I love Orange County I love the glitz I love the glamour I love the eternal blue skies and I can't wait to move out here now but the problem is I'm not local I may be out of state I may be even out of the country I just can't jet set like you know from here to there all the time and I totally get that that's why you want to reach out to us we can have have that conversation over Zoom, really get very granular about what you're looking for, and we can be your boots on the ground to find you that perfect property. We can do tours of the, not only the property itself, that's a possibility, but as well as the community, like the surrounding area, really giving you a feel of what you're looking at. And then when you come out here, you can kind of, you know, it gives you a better sense, and then when you come out here, you can kind of go, okay, this area does really fit what, my, what I'm looking for. So what you want to do is you want to give us a call or shoot us a text. Yes, that number is a cell phone, so you can call or text it, 
or you can use WhatsApp for anybody who's outside of the country. Sean has gotten a decent amount of texts on WhatsApp from people outside of the country. Yes. And then you can also email us. And as far as like, you know, the year builds, I would say that, again, this is kind of on the average for Orange County. So the 1970s, 1980s, when, were, you know, is when Woodbridge was primarily developed. So it's not new, new construction by any stretch yeah. of the imagination. And then also what you're looking at is that the high school, you know, for that goes here is about is Woodbridge High School. According to Net.com, very highly rated along with Honestly. <laughs> All seemingly of all of Irvine mm -hmm. schools like but yeah so Woodbridge High School is that way here and I'll say as far as the lay of the land goes it straddles between the 405 and 5 freeways and so it's relatively flat here so yeah. you're not so you will get that whole Brady Bunch kind of grid where your home's in the middle and then you have like eight homes surrounding you that's mm -hmm. just kind of understand that that's kind of the lay of the land as far as you know you're not gonna get much views unless again you're on the lake or something like that that we are here yeah but um that's kind of just Woodbridge in a nutshell it's just that it is very you know you have matured trees so that, <laughs> we were just driving by the Great Park and yeah, I will we will say, be showing you that later. We're yeah. not filming in the order this, that this we're is putting it, it together. <laughs> yes. This is a Pulp Fiction. We're kind <laughs> yeah. of going to the, the board of <laughs> Yeah, so basically, um, kind of driving by some of the newer developments, you kind of do feel like it's kind of... Very deserty. Very deserty. Not yeah. the, 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 the trees haven't, like, they're not fully mature yet, so it's not very green. Mm -hmm. And here, it's, like, so green. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just, like, you know, all the trees are very mature at this point. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's, again, it's just, I, I love Woodbridge. I think yeah. it's a fantastic place. Yeah. But, again, it, it obviously, you know, it just, it just depends. And also, the as far as the tax rate goes, there's, you know, there's no threat of Melrose for the most part unless there's some new, new construction. But, again, very minimal type stuff like that. So. Yeah. You know, it's the property tax rate's relatively low. HOA dues, you will find again that Woodbridge itself as a master association does have an HOA. Nothing ridiculous as far as price is concerned, especially when you get, get what the amenities afford you here. So uh, what you will find actually in Irvine, like in general, not just Woodbridge, is that you'll have many times two associations. You'll have the the village, the specific village of Irvine Association, that would be like Woodbridge here. And then you also have your own specific subdivision. So that community itself may have an association dues as well. So just be aware that there's like usually two associations in almost everywhere in, in Irvine. And I know that if you're looking for something with no association, okay, there are a there's like one pocket primarily that you you can find one. Reach out to us and we'll sell, send any of that little secret. But honestly, I actually find the associations are very helpful. It's just one of those things you just have to, have to be aware of that you are dealing with associations here. So we're standing in front of the Irvine Spectrum, which is a awesome feature of Irvine for so many reasons. Not only is it a destination mall, meaning a place that you go for not just, you know, to shop, but also for entertainment, but it also is the seat of the biggest, you know, corporate uh, area in all of Irvine. There's so many headquarters and jobs here. This is a huge hub for business, a great, great part of Irvine. And also uh, what makes it also really ama an amazing spot is its geographic location. It's where the, the, four, the 405 and 5 freeways, which are the two major like freeways in Southern California, that's where they merge mm -hmm. or where they split, I guess, depending on which way you're coming up. But mm -hmm. basically it's just a great spot. So super easy to get to wherever you need to go to from here. I think that is why it's such a huge like headquarter hub because there's tons of headquarters located here. And again, this mall, I mean, we, <laughs> I remember mean, not dating ourselves, but I remember when this thing was being built mm -hmm. and it first started off as this like 21 theater, like, you know, cinema yeah. complex with Yes, I remember few... <laughs> going with you to the movies. <laughs> yes, exactly. When we were in our 20s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there, just like, and it had this huge parking lot. It looked like an amusement park level parking lot. Like I think of the Griswolds going to mm -hmm. Wally World. Like it's just crazy how huge it was. And then over time, they just kept on building more and more and more phases. And now that entire parking lot is eaten up basically by, yeah. like by development. And then now what we have here is just basically they have parking structures and all this other stuff. And you have, it's like honestly so many different shopping options and dining options at the Spectrum itself. Yeah, I mean, if you decide to live in Irvine or really anywhere in South County, you're probably going to find yourself at the Spectrum at least once a month. If not once a week, it is a great option just for entertainment. You're like, I know what I want to do. Let's just go to the Spectrum. Like, yeah, and, th and that's speaking for like not just the city of Irvine itself, yeah. but honestly a lot of South Orange County, yeah. a lot of uh, obviously the periphery, like the, the periphery edges of Irvine as well, like the other cities that are a little north of it. 
they are, they, you know, Irvine Spectrum is just such a destination. Mm -hmm. So now we're in Quail Hill, and the reason we wanted to show you this neighborhood is again, we wanted to show you the different flavors of Irvine, right? This is west of the 405, so definitely much cooler in the summer than some of them are east parts of Irvine, and the topography here is definitely much more hillier than a lot of Irvine. A lot of Irvine is very flat, so some of these homes can even have views. So, you know, we're trying to show you how you can have, you know, different aspects of different areas of Irvine, and it's very close to Laguna Beach. You can just go straight down the 133. I think it's like 10 minutes as, yeah, the, as the crow flies. Uh, assuming there's no traffic. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was just going to say that. could that. back up a little bit. Yeah, that could back up a little bit. But uh, if there's no traffic, which there never is, but <laughs> if there is no traffic, it's about 10 minutes. Well, yeah, so these were built, so these are these are on the newer side. These were built in the aughts, so the early 2000s, basically, for the most part. You have single family residences, uh, you have townhomes and condos, and it kind of varies as far as size and everything like that, and price can vary dram pretty dramatically depending on what you're looking for. And what you do have is, because the topography is a bit more on the hilly side, and again, as a general rule of thumb, anything west of the 405 freeway is gonna be on the hillier side, so yeah. you have more, more options for a view home. Not that every home here has a view, but there's more options for that. And also, what I'll say that's kind of really nice about Quail Hill is that the convenience, look, like you were kind of alluding to this already, as far as like, okay, the 133 freeway, which dumps you into Laguna Beach, is like right here, so it's mm -hmm. super close. The 405 freeway one's right by here as well. And then on top of that, the early spectrum is just, just a few minutes down the road. So yeah. you're super close to a lot of conveniences as far as like shopping conveniences and, and, and a big job hubs too. And also the UC Irvine is just down the street too. And as far as like, you know, price goes, because it's a newer build and because of its location, it's definitely gonna be a, like a, on the higher priced air aspects of Irvine itself. So therefore, you're definitely looking on the price your side. So just be aware of that. And um, lot size wise, it kind of varies, but again, because it's newer construction, and again, when we say newer construction, I understand that anything newer than 2000 is very new for Orange County. Mm -hmm. So because it's on the newer construction side, you are dealing with a situation where lot sizes aren't typically huge. And if they aren't on a bigger, if they, if they are uh, above average size lot, it's definitely gonna cost you for sure. So now we are in Turtle Rock and we wanted to show you this neighborhood, partly because it's seriously awesome. It, I think it's probably one of your favorite, if not one, your favorite yeah, neighborhood in all of Orange County. Um, but we wanted to show it to you because it definitely exemplifies a certain part of Irvine west of the 405, definitely much more hilly. We have these beautiful eucalyptus trees here. That's very uh, common for Turtle Rock definitely get a lot of hills so you know a lot of Irvine is known for you know having a neighbor on every corner it's very packed in because it's very flat Total Rock is not like that yeah and actually what I'll say is that you'll see all these trees are very mature because Total Rock itself was again it's on the older side it's built in the 70s 80s kind of thing so if you're looking for new construction Turtle Rock itself, I probably would, would steer clear from. I would think that, you know, Turtle Ridge, which is right, you know, right next door, definitely much more new construction as far as that goes. So Turtle Rock, definitely not on the new side. And also Turtle Rock isn't, in general, isn't gated. So if you're looking for gated, it's not there. But what Turtle Rock does offer is views. A lot of homes have views here. The weather is like very, very nice. It's spectacular here. And it's because it's basically west of the 405 freeway. So it's getting closer to the coast. You get the sea breeze going here really really nice and the, and the homes here de again built in 70s 80s different ranges as far as size goes condos townhomes uh, actually even the townhomes a lot of them are actually like more like duplexes where it's like one half and some of these townhomes are like 3,000 square feet for each unit and then obviously you do have homes and depending on how high up you go like you can get nicer and nicer and bigger homes so the range is definitely in price as far as this area is concerned. You're definitely looking at above the median price point of Irvine in general. Another thing to note is that Turtle Rock is zoned for University High School. I know, you know, some people they're like, you know, I want that top ranked high school. That's what I want. So Turtle Rock is one of the neighborhoods. Quail Hill as well, right? We did hit Quail Hill in this video as well. Yeah, so. Turtle Rock, Turtle Ridge, and Quail Hill, and actually part of West Park too. So like, it's, it's a little bit of. There's definitely a decent amount of property like uh, areas that are zoned for university high school yeah so that's why you gotta reach out to us uh, Sean is very well versed he's definitely worked with a lot of people who want Irvine yeah. he's sold a lot in Irvine he knows a lot about Irvine his aunt and uncle two of them two sets of them live here so in Turtle Rock, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so now we're in front of University High School and this kind of exemplifies one of the reasons that people really like Irvine and that is the Irvine Unified School District very highly rated school district according to niche.com according to greatschools.org 
you see it all the time uh, in the news about how it's you know nationally ranked for something I think niche.com ranks Irvine as the number five area in the United States for public schools and University High School it tends to you know uh, go side by side in terms of the best ranking you know whatever that means with Troy High School which is in Fullerton right next to Cal State Fullerton and we are literally across the street from the University of California Irvine so you may you know see a little bit of a relationship there <laughs> yes but yeah and then if you do look at the rankings sometimes you will see also the OC, uh, the OC School of the Arts but that you have to audition for so I don't really count it I mean obviously that's a great school too but it's not like oh if you can't just be zoned for it right so we yeah. kind of just don't talk about it you have to be an artist to go there. yeah and we will say that so like you don't want to ju judge a book by its cover like mm -hmm. it looks very plain very old you know, sp relatively speaking, like probably yeah. built in the 70s, 80s. And this is just how Orange County schools are. Because, it's all in California. Yeah, and so basically, yeah. so even if it's a more affluent area, the money gets distributed throughout the state, throughout the county. And so that's where, you know, going, okay, this doesn't look all that impressive from the exterior, but obviously it rates very, very highly, <laughs> again, on mm -hmm. all the major websites mm -hmm. as far as academics are concerned. Yeah, so don't judge a book by its cover. And then just another thing to note, uh, we're not going to really go into it here. It's in many of our other videos, so uh, check about check all of our other videos on Irvine. But there is a dark side to the Irvine Unified School District, meaning that it's very, very highly competitive. The homework load is very, very high, according to many of the parents that we know, you know, friends that we know that have their kids in Irvine high schools and or Irvine schools, and we compare their homework load to our kids. So. Yeah, it's just it's just something to know. Um, sometimes, you know, we talk, we go into it in other videos. So that's just I want to mention. It yeah, here. and some people, again, this is a pro and a con because some people want to push their kids, like want they want their kids really challenged, which is yeah. awesome. And so if that's what you're looking for, like you know, actually a neighbor of ours moved to Irvine specifically for that reason. Yeah. Otherwise, like other, some people have actually moved out because again, it was just again they wanted their kids to have be like not so consumed with school. So it's one of those things where it's really just a personal judgment call, of course. Yeah. So now we're in Turtle Ridge. And the reason we wanted to show you this community is because it's really on the western edge of Irvine. Actually, uh, literally, so there's the 73 freeways right next to us. I'll show you some B-roll. And then right across there is Newport Coast. So some of the most expensive real estate in the world and you we can, we can actually feel the sea, the sea breeze right here so yeah that's just uh it's kind of giving you a different flavor different option for Irvine. yeah and also what you have here is that definitely newer build like past you know like past to uh, two, the year 2000 and also not brand new but newer for sure and then also what you have here too is that these homes are uh so some of them are gated some of them are not some homes are bigger some homes are smaller they have townhomes and condos as well as single family residences uh this is zoned for university high school so that's again for some people that's really important and then um these homes can have views because the topography here we are west of the 405 freeway in fact we're right next to the 73 like courtney was mentioning so we're right next to newport so with that homes don't feel as packed together as well as they can have some views. Yeah, and then there's two parts of Tudor Ridge. So there's a part that isn't gated, and then there is a part that's guard gated. We can't show you the guard gated part right now because there's literally only one property for sale. <laughs> Sean actually did show that property, <laughs> but you need to have an actual client with you. They're not gonna let you in just to like, you know, film it, oh, so. <laughs> I know, they're mean. <laughs> so now we're in University Town Center, and the reason why we wanted to show you this is twofold. One, it is right next to, literally across the street from the University of California, Irvine, which is obviously like a big you know job hub here a big growth producer here big reason that people come here to Irvine and then another reason is because there's a lot of condos and townhomes around here and Sean does get calls from people who have their adult children who are have been admitted to the University of California Irvine and they want to buy something yeah, so that's that, why we're here yeah they don't want to waste their money on just rent for their kids they want to go ahead and get that investment going on and just obviously give them a place. So University Town Center is a pretty awesome option for sure. Yeah, because Irvine rents very high. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, so yeah, it's just a, a great little option right here. So here we are standing at the Great Park. And if you've ever watched this channel, sometimes we joke that the Great Park isn't that great but that's mostly because it was really sold as something that it's not it's actually a nice park it's a nice great place for locals to come there's an ice skating rink um right over there actually i'm pretty sure the the anaheim uh, ducks actually practice there and obviously you got the great park balloon we got tons of soccer fields we got merry-go-round over there i mean just fields fields and more fields i mean mostly yeah it's not even about the playground i mean there are some playgrounds but when you think of this great park 
just think of every Orange County like outdoor activity you can think of. Yeah. And actually some indoor with a with a skating rink, of course. Yeah. But like there's just so many fields. Volleyball, baseball, softball, soccer. Mm -hmm. Just fields and fields and fields. And there is a farmers market on Sundays. So it's you know, it's fun. It's a it's a nice it's a, a nice little aspect of Irvine. I really like it. And then the neighborhoods around it are really awesome. We will show you those. Uh, we joke about the Great Park itself, but the neighborhoods are awesome. <laughs> yeah, and as far as the Great Parks itself, like as for the Great Park itself, you're right off of the Five Freeway. You're actually mm -hmm. super close to the Irvine Spectrum. Yeah, like you know, just, just right out yonder, yeah. basically a little past the balloon there, mm -hmm. which is an amazing balloon, right? Like this thing is just <laughs> so. It's actually kind of weird because like it's kind of temperamental. So sometimes, if it's just the slightest breeze, they're mm -hmm. going okay. You know, no, no, we're cutting it off. We don't yeah. want it. It's all tethered too, so it's not like mm -hmm. going anywhere. I've actually had it a hard time even flying a kite here, mm -hmm. yet it was too breezy for the balloon. So yeah. we're like, okay, don't count on the balloon working yeah. when you're here just, to, you know, as, a, as an FYI. Yeah. But yeah, that's just what I will say to that. And as far as it's just locations, proximity, so right off the five freeway, it's really just convenient. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's fantastic for what it is. It's just that, like, so as a newcomer, you're like, hey, this is awesome. Like, yeah. no, this is probably where. You'll, if you partake in recreational activities, you'll probably play sports here. If your kids play sports, if you have kids, they'd probably play sports here too. In mm -hmm. fact, our kids actually had a Barca, like a football camp or, you know. Soccer. Soccer. Yeah. <laughs> so we're right by the Wild Rivers Water Park, which is in the Great Park. We just want to point it out. It is really cool. This is something, it actually used to be in a different location. It was closed down for a really long time. So for Sean and I, it was kind of like, you know, going back to our childhood when this thing opened again. So that's just another cool thing about the Great Park. Now we said that we would show you in this video, you know, the major areas of Irvine that sort of give you the different flavors that you can find in Irvine. We're not gonna show you every single neighborhood. We already have that video. We're gonna post it at the end, but we're just giving you the different flavors, the major areas, and the Great Park neighborhood is definitely one that has its own unique flavor. And it's the only place in Irvine that you can get new construction and one of the only places in all of Orange County. I mean, do you want to go into what this neighborhood offers? Yeah, so basically that's, you know, a lot of times we do get people for that reach out from all over the country and they want new construction. And you have to understand, new construction in Orange County is kind of graded on a curve here. So we have, our, our form of newer construction is honestly anything that's the year 2000 and newer, maybe even 1990s and newer is kind of newer construction, which sounds like ancient to a lot of the areas. Mm -hmm. But here in Orange County, that's just kind of what you're dealing with. So there are some limited new construction in particular. A lot of the new construction is kind of out in the periphery, like, you know, kind of where you're bordering the Cleveland National Forest or you're going on to like the bordering San Diego County. Mm -hmm. So not a ton of new construction because it's pretty mature and already built out. Now, this is one of those like so the great park neighborhoods this is a village of irvine oh, this is one of the villages of irvine this is one of the very few that are actually being built in a relatively central location mm -hmm. and that's because this actually used to be the site of the el toro marine air base so this is a huge base and it was you know decommissioned back in the 1990s and so over time they you know developed it and now they have the great park which we're, we're going to be referencing or already have referenced which is this big huge park <laughs> a great mm -hmm. park mm -hmm. and then this is one of the you know like and these are the developments around that and what's nice about it is that you're really close to the five freeway the 405 freeway so super centrally located to get to wherever you want to in orange county and you can still get brand new construction or very new very newish like you know stuff like built around 2015 and newer so very new construction especially by orange county standards yeah. and you have a little bit of variety here so you have condos townhomes single family residences, different architectural styles. You have a very like modern type of styling and then more traditional kind mm -hmm. of stuff. So yeah. it kind of depends on what you're looking for. But I would say just understand you're not going to get big plots of land here. Yeah. It's like this land is certainly at a premium in this area. And that's where you're going to be going. Like, you know, a lot of these homes are more vertical, like, you know, three stories thinking of. Um, now, you, there are some of the single family, like actually there's a decent amount of like existing single family homes here again. 2015 and newer that are actually like two-story like you know you're what you think of a typical home so there they, that does exist it's just that just understand that actually the new new construction going on a lot of it's more like three stories very vertical so as you can probably guess like being a new n new to newer construction in a like in a very convenient part of orange county comes at a price so you're definitely above the median price point of orange county and of irvine itself in this area so just be aware of that and on top of that you have to understand with also new newer construction or new construction you have uh this phenomenon called malarus so and as a general whole 
like most of Orange County actually doesn't have much anymore, but anything that's like built in, I would say the last 20 years or so, may be subject to Melarus, which is basically this tack on in the property taxes. So your general tax rate is, I don't know, like at the time, like about 1.1% of the assessed value, right? And the assessed value is mostly ascertained at the time of the actual purchase. Like, you know, it, it fluctuates up a bit, but it doesn't, it doesn't go dramatically because of Proposition 13. Whole other video we could talk, we can link to that too. But Melarus, depending on the actual development in the subdivision, it can vary pretty dramatically as far as it could be a few hundred dollars extra per year, or it could be honestly close to doubling of your property tax rate. So it can be all over the place. So that's one of the things we obviously discuss with our clients is that when they're looking for properties, what are all of your expenses that you can you know, anticipate and really so you can make the best decision? Because obviously you have your Melarus, you have potential Melarus, you have property taxes, of course, in general, as well as HOA dues as well. So now we're in Northwood Point, and we're gonna talk about Northwood Point and Northwood. They're two separate villages, and they're actually quite different but we chose this little park here because it really just exemplifies what Irvine is. We call Irvine the land of 10,000 parks. <laughs> here we are, just a peaceful, nice little park. You can just enjoy it. Just a nice, beautiful day, blue skies. I mean, can you get more Irvine than this? <laughs> this is pretty Irvine. When you said that, here we are, I was gonna say, yet in another park, because this is where we are. Yeah. I mean, so Irvine's just famous for having that. Northwood and Northwood Point are no exceptions. Now, you were talking about the differences between the two areas. So Northwood itself is also one of the OG, kind of, like we, we alluded to, to, we talked about Woodbridge before, but like, North, like actually Northwood itself is uh, again properties built in the 1970s 1980s in general your typical track homes and that and as far as in general so you have si you have single family residences you have townhomes and condos you know like most of Irvine and um, I mean I wouldn't say the amenities are as robust in Northwood as opposed to let's say Woodbridge itself but yeah Northwood's great I mean we actually yeah. used to live in Northwood mm -hmm. actually so yes, I have very fond memories of yeah so Northwood's fantastic it's right off the five freeway so I will say that as you go east of the five freeway it starts to get creepy up a little bit more we definitely yeah, for, I, the heat, for the heat yes so we were like definitely dealing with some warm summers yes. and you know that air conditioning was cranking yeah. so just so you know like so just be aware that the air I mean, although today is an absolutely beautiful day yes but again yeah it, you know just just plan on having your air conditioner going especially when during the summertime yeah so we kind of another reason that we chose this spot is because we wanted to show you sort of like the east side of Irvine which is an awesome like we used to live here we love this an awesome side but definitely it does get hotter in the summers um it definitely is more exemplifies like what you think of as irvine meaning like tons and tons of homes we will show you i mean again we're filming this out of order so i don't know what we've shown you yet but there are spot parts of irvine that have much more hilly topography yes. but a vast majority of irvine is very flat and northwood and northern point is one of them so northwood itself is more like on the median price i, I feel like northwood has really good value for irvine it's a yes. great spot of irvine sure. and then northwood point is gated right yes. like so it's definitely on the more expensive side yeah so again and northwood uh itself yeah not like i said not not gated built in the 70s and 80s in general um track homes you know very you know again you're just typical track home kind of situation now northwood point is just east of northwood and this is like pretty much it's completely gated beautiful i, I mean i love it's really great. I like it a lot, but at the same time, just be aware that Northwood Point is very gated and definitely it's built more in the 90s, I would say, in general. And it's, uh, it's while it's still track home, it's like semi-custom track homes in a yeah. lot of these situations mm -hmm. and bigger homes. Uh, and also you'll see that the price point definitely is up there. It's definitely yeah. well above the median price point of Irvine. Yeah, so it's a great a great choice if you're looking to live here in Irvine. Yeah, and then what we'll say is that actually as you go even past Portola Highway, it actually gets hilly again, like at yeah. Orchard Hills. So you have this interesting phenomenon where like west of the 405 slash five, well, primarily 405 freeway is like hilly. Between the 405 and five, flat. Mm -hmm. Between Actually in between the five and Portola, flat. Yeah. And then, going beyond the Portola Highway, then you go hilly. So that's just kind of the lay of the land here. So in general, in, in Northwood, Northwood Point, you don't have particularly much views in general. Yeah. Uh, the high school is Northwood High School, in, you know, in case that's something you're wondering about. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, again, love love this area and remember we are licensed realtors here in the state of california so as much as we love making these videos what we love more is to help you with your real, real estate needs so whether you're looking to buy or sell a home what you want to do is you want to give us a call or shoot us a text yes that number is a cell phone so you can call it or text it or use whatsapp if you are outside of the country and we do have email as well